What is up, you freaks? Man, has it been a while since I've talked about music commentary. It's been a while since I've done a commentary on music. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I never thought I was gonna talk about music again, you know? Oh, this song's C minor. What's that? Oh, this song used modulation. Who cares? This song used octave jumping. Don't care. It's actually pretty interesting stuff, but I can't do it anymore. I just can't. One day you'll find out why. But anyway, what I can do is gossip. What better thing to gossip about than, than Larry's new goddamn it diss track? Let's see. There's a new guy in it, Twames. So the new diss track, goddamn it, features Twames. Um, maybe they're best friends or something. I don't know. Is George not found either A, a bottom, B, a twink, C, colorblind, or D, all the above? All the above. Interesting. Okay, let's dissect this really quickly. Interesting. There's stuff on there. It's as if she's, is she, it's like they're green screened in. Yeah, <laughs> why are they green screened in? Wait, why wouldn't they just go to like a classroom if they put all this stuff up? Wait, is the last one green screened? I want to know if any of you have heard of someone named Bert No, I feel like they're I feel like they're all really in a classroom. Wait, why couldn't they just Last over Aiden Ross, Penny Baby Woody Lost? I feel like a freak cake, you brought him for Andrew Tate. Now I'm moving on the trip. Okay, let's start with Aiden Ross. Pemmy Baby Woody Lost. So who's this? Let's dissect this guys. Let's go word for word. <gasps> so they were dating. Why'd they break up? Lil Uzi exposes why they broke up? In eight minutes? Yeah, she got kicked out quick, bro. She had a boyfriend. <laughs> they dated and she had a boyfriend the whole time? The damage is over. I don't care. This guy's a freak. Have you guys seen this guy? So basically, like, this guy is a freak about Andrew Tate. You know what? You're a genius. Wait, who's this guy? Wait, that's him? Wait, what? So Aiden Ross even, like... He's like dressing up like him. Total freak. I can't believe he's literally like he he's like cosplaying like him. The reason his face revealed was because his best friend George was going to move in with him. Oh, in order for him to be able to do things with him in public and such, he had to face reveal. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't realize that's why he faced revealed this whole time. He just wanted to hang out with his best friend, George, and they're moving in together. They're best friends and he's moving in together. It's like Dream doesn't have to move in with anyone. He could easily live in his own house. He's Dream. But he wants to move in with his best friend, George, and they wanted to hang out and go to the pool together. And then they go to the pool and then after that they go to dinner. And maybe they go to dinner, maybe they go to In-N-Out, or maybe they go to a nice sit-down place, you know, treat themselves. They just went to the pool. Maybe they even go to the spa. Maybe they even get their nails done, their little cuticles like pushed in together. And then they go home and they watch a movie. Okay, now I don't know who that is. Looks like he's about to sell some drugs. So like, what did he do wrong? See, what I'm interested in is the drama. Like are all these people in the song people that have been canceled already? Kind of like what happened in the first one. I feel like everyone that Larry talked about in that one, like, whether they were friends or not, like, they probably got canceled, right? Like, Bryce Hall got canceled for, like, just being a freak. Dream and George got matching butt plugs. Oh. Oh. So, Dream and George might be more than best friends? Everyone thinks that they should date? I mean, that's kind of sweet. Maybe they do like each other. <gasps> they kiss? George and I are not gay or in a gay relationship with each other. I just thought I would clear up the common misconception. Okay, guys, then lay off with them. They're just trying to be best friends. Not everyone has to kiss, okay? You guys are probably thinking this is really good stuff. I'm saying a lot of profound things in this video. But guys, don't start a rumor about them kissing. If they didn't really kiss, they just want to be best friends and they want to go to the pool. Why can't you guys just go to the pool? Why can't you guys just move in, be best friends, and go to the pool? <sighs> oh, why is she crying? Internet fame isn't all sunshine and roses as evidenced by her reaction to online hate during an emotional stream. Who hated her? What did she do? Did she do something? I don't think she's ever probably done anything wrong, right? Oh, okay, maybe she did do something wrong. Okay, that that's pretty wrong. That's not right. Oh, no. Ain't funny. That's not true. Maybe you're just boring as fuck and lame as hell. Come on, what? Yeah, that's not good. That's not right. 
That's just not right. Kai, SZA, never gonna smash. <gasps> Kai finally meets SZA after saying she wants to stream with him. Oh, they met. That's really sweet. <gasps> Luckily for Kai, he was able to meet his celebrity crush. But the same can't be said for XQC, who slid into Selena Gomez's DMs only to be met with an unexpected message. <gasps> so Minx dares XQC to go into Selena Gomez's DMs. This guy's a freak. Thank you, Nikki. Wait, is this the same? I feel like this is the same beat. Oh, obviously it's the same beat as the last one. It's a remix. <laughs> Duh. Who the fuck trying to eat my butt? bitch, look at her. Who is this? Titty. I thought Who is that ass now catch it. I got the energy. Who is that? Did they get that? Did they win that for some? That two? What? Two? For the first song? Wow, good for them. What the fuck is this big? Best friend, come look at this pig. Who's that? Oh, they are best friends. That's so nice. Now, Carl. Who's Carl? Who's Carl? Who are they? I don't have time to wait. <laughs> Again with Dream and George. Wow. George left on red like London. Who's George? Oh, George dreams George, but they're not together, guys. They're just friends. I just want to go to the pool. I'm dreaming on dreams. Very good friend. Bad boy Halo's Minecraft server. Dream revealed in a Q&A. Oh, so this is like how they first met. He messaged George first about making a plugin, but never got a response. So Dream learned to code to do it himself. Dream eventually became a developer for Munchie Minecraft with George. Oh, they both know how to code. And then they met and saw each other for the first time before their meetup. George had never seen Dream's face before. George, Dream, and Sapnap now live together. Oh, so Sapnap lives with them too in the Dream Team house. Sapnap and Dream have been living together for a very long time already. So they live together and George just moved in, guys. So there's three best friends and they all go to the pool. Obviously. <laughs> They have so much fun together, these two. Now, they're best friends, obviously. They go to the pool. So this is kind of fascinating. I like this. I like that they do this. I hope they do one every year. It's kind of like YouTube Rewind, but for drama and for fun. And you can sing along. You can't sing along in normal YouTube Rewind. I like this, right? What if there's lore, you know? Because then the first canceled, like, song, they had all these guests. Like, they had so many friends in it. But now they don't have that many friends in it. They have some friends in it, but, like, not a whole classroom of friends. Do you think they're all still friends? I would like to imagine so. I would like to imagine all of them are still friends, and they all hang out, and probably even go to the pool together in one big group, you know, if there's enough room in the pool, because there were a lot of friends in that last one. Like, like look, guys. See? A lot of friends. A lot of friends. Any of you and that's just half of friends. So I'm wondering, like, oh, wow, we did a genius video. I honestly was just bored as fuck in my room, and I saw all of these internet kids, like, in beef and drama, and I was like, wait, okay, I have no beef or drama. Like, my life is boring as fuck. So I answered myself in all the beef and drama, but also I did it in a smart way because I didn't want to do the whole exposing tea shit. I think that shit is just corny as fuck to me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a song called Cancelled, and I'm gonna use every single thing that someone got cancelled for instead of me just cancelling it myself. Oh, that's really nice. Now we can get really meta with it, and we can watch the people in the diss track react to them getting dissed on. Let's see what George- This is George! Okay, so this is George, Dream's best friend, and they go to the pool. Let's see what he has to say. Who is this woman? Obviously, it's the woman from the last cancel, George. Don't you watch? Where, how do they know about these pictures? Firstly, <gasps> this is not me. Guys, this is not me. Trust me. That is not me. That is not Dream. None of these pictures are real. I, I don't think it's even real people. I think it's AI. Wow, well, you heard it here first from George, guys. They're just best friends. They don't kiss or something. And if they did, that's fine. And, like, that's really awesome. But they just don't. Oh. Like, look. How did they get such a... I see. I see now. Remember my green screen theory? I was like, why, like, did they green screen themselves into the classroom? Why wouldn't they just go back to the classroom? Oh, they're in the classroom. Oh, they're there. But they green screen stuff onto the whiteboard. What do I have to say about this? 
I don't know. I don't think anyone really cares. Is there a better time to be alive than this? That's kind of what I've gathered from this video, is what better time is there to be alive than right now? Think about all of the gossip we have. Think about all the gossip that's gone on. Probably just this year. Was Dream Face revealed this year? This is fascinating. I really like this. It's like a mid-year YouTube rewind. And I like that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, goddammit. If you want me to do more stuff where I react to stuff and really give you my two cents, really give you my opinion, I gave you guys a lot of profound thoughts today, a lot of opinions that are mine. Let me know what you want me to talk about next, react to next. I want to try a bunch of different stuff, okay? Like I did the dating stuff, you know, the blah blah stuff and, and the niche dating apps. I'm going to keep doing those. I like doing those and I want to keep having guests on and maybe help them find love too, but hell, I can't do the same thing all the time. I'll get bored. Also, I just put out an EP. Go listen to it. It's not really a big deal. It's not like one of the songs is like the song of the summer. It's not like one of the songs is going viral on TikTok right now. It's not like one of the songs are just like taking off completely. People are making freak stuff to it. It's not like that. Please tell me what you want me to talk about next, okay? God damn it. Love you guys. I love you too, Devin. Okay.